everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brenda or also known as Cozyaholic and we are finally getting into our fall decorating videos, you guys. I am so excited for this because this is literally all I've been waiting for all year since last fall. So I hope that you guys are as excited as I am. If you're someone like me that likes things to be a little bit more minimal and just kind of like little touches of fall here and there, then definitely keep on watching because this video is for you. And if you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more fall content. I have tons of videos planned. Same thing as last year, pretty much. I'm just so so excited you guys have no idea and i've seen some of you guys already visit my past videos from last year just and also commenting saying how excited you guys are and seriously i am as excited as you are even though i'm the one that has to put all all the work into it but seriously these are my favorite videos to film i'm gonna have a lot of like fall drink ideas both caffeine non-caffeine for kids lots of more decorating videos i am going to be decorating for halloween as well but that's not going to be until october and then of course my well-known videos my cozy fall nighttime routines halloween nighttime routines those are all going to be coming out on my channel very very soon so anyways if you're not subscribed make sure you do right now and also if you guys do enjoy watching this video and you want to see more videos like these make sure to give this video a thumbs up it means the world seeing you guys support my channel and just letting me know that you actually do enjoy watching this content so make sure to give it a thumbs thumbs up and anyways let's go ahead and hop right into it all right so starting off with the entryway i'm going to go ahead and just wipe it down really quick with some water and a towel and then if you guys noticed i do have a new mirror here this one i decided to mount it because it was just a little bit too short to leave it leaning on the console table itself but i kind of like the way this looks and if i ever do want to upgrade to maybe a taller mirror then i will definitely lean it but for now i went ahead and just mounted it onto the wall and then right next to it i put this picture frame that's from the studio mcgee collection at target and then right next to that i put a vase that i found at home goods with some a floral foliage And then right in front of the frame, I went ahead and just added two books that are thrifted. And then right on top of that, I added just some stuff, you know, for styling and stacking. So this really cute little marble mortar that I just, you know, took off the pestle, of course, and I'm using it as decor. And then right next to that, a candle. And then I also added some matches right in there. Moving on to the center of the console table, I just added more books. One of my favorite things to do is always styling and stacking books. I think it just really makes the space feel a lot more cozier and almost like your book smart in a way. <laughs> but anyways, I went ahead and added that in the middle with a cute little catch-all bowl. And then right next to that, I added this beautiful mercury glass type of pumpkin. Right below that, I added this really cute Studio McGee basket. I put some books inside just for some weight. And then I added a blanket that's also from the Studio McGee collection. I believe this is the summer collection. And then this beautiful Turkish rug little throw pillow. And that one I purchased from Etsy. As always, I will try and link as many things as I can. But if I do miss anything, feel free to leave it down in the comments and I will try and link it for you. this is the look for the entryway very very simple lots of styling going on here definitely a lot more than i'm usually used to but i do love it so much i might end up moving a couple things here and there as you guys know i'm always moving things around but so far i love this look so much i might actually end up changing the lamp but other than that i think i kind of like everything So moving on to my formal living room. So this tree right here, I've been getting a lot of questions on and this is the Gypsophilia tree from Hearth and Hand and I just ripped off all the little green leaves and I replaced it with these fall ones from Hobby Lobby. I went ahead and started with a empty slate in this room. I have my two Studio McGee boucle chairs in the right side and then the Studio McGee, I can't remember the name of it, but it's also a Studio McGee chair or couch. Um, and then a Laloy olive and charcoal rug. And then my coffee table, I actually DIY'd myself. I will go ahead and leave the link to my blog on how I did that down in the description box below for you guys as well. 
So one of my favorite things to do is to always style coffee tables. There's just so many different ways that you can do this, honestly, that it's just like an infinite amount of ways. So it's always an ever-changing thing for me where I'm always changing things around. Um, and I do have a video on some coffee, stable, coffee table styling ideas if you guys are interested in watching that. But for today, I wanted to keep it very, very minimal, just nothing crazy. My kids have been getting very curious lately. So I just wanna make sure that I don't have anything, you know, just not much clutter that they can you know throw around and destroy so anyways i put these books i stacked a vintage china pot right above it with these little like fall stems i haven't seen them in stores anywhere and i can't remember exactly where i got them from i think it might have been at home but if i do find them online i'll link them for you guys and then right next to that i have this book right here and i just opened it i think it gives it a more lived in relaxed space so and it also kind of invites people to kind of scroll through the book and and read through it because you know you just don't want books sitting there and honestly i love this picture right here so i picked that center one i love it so much it gives me so much inspiration so anyways i went ahead and opened this book up and then right in front of that i just added a candle so then for my fireplace i added two pumpkins on either side these pumpkins are from at home and I thought it just really added that, you know, pumpkin feel to the entire thing. And then for the couch, I wanted to make it feel a lot more cozy. This is a very small sofa. I've had a lot of people ask me how I like it. And although it is a beautiful sofa, I definitely don't recommend it for daily use. I do sit on it occasionally um, and I am a small person. I'm 5'1", so this couch is kind of perfect for me. <laughs> but if you're taller, it probably wouldn't be the most comfortable. I literally can put my head and my feet will touch all the way to the end it's a very very small sofa but it's perfect for small spaces or for anywhere that you just want to style and make it look nice and fancy instead of like you know you know what I mean so anyways I went ahead and added a ton of pillows and also this beautiful little Sherpa pumpkin that I got from Home Goods, and I thought that just really added that, you know, fall vibe. The breeze brings goosebumps to my skin. And then to finish off the living room, I added my Our House Ottomans. Yes, they're a little dirty. Um, I haven't had a chance to clean them. I read the little tag and it said to not wash them. So that kind of scared me away. And um, yeah, they're very dirty. My kids have just attacked them with yogurt and stuff. So I'm still kind of like on the fence of whether I want to wash these or even spot clean them because it says to not even spot clean them. So I'm just like, I'm terrified to touch these. So for now, they're a little dirty, but the blanket covers it all. <laughs> it hides my problems. Um, and then right behind my sofa, I have this beautiful console table that I thrifted. I bought on Facebook Marketplace and I also just went ahead and styled it. So I have another vintage Chinese bowl or pot here. And then I also added the a floral stems. And then on the other side, I added this black wooden mango wood um, cutting board. And then right on top of that, I added two candlestick holders. And then I'm probably going to butcher this, but I think it's a cloche, possibly. I don't know. It's like the stand with a little dome thingy. <laughs> I know what it's called. I just have no clue how to pronounce it. And yeah, so anyways, I added this cute little thrifted like vintage brass container and it has palo santo in there and then a cute little pumpkin and then right in the center some more books so i added the down to earth book and then another book that i thrifted and then i just put some other stuff on top of that And that is the finished look for the living room, you guys. I am so in love. I'm obsessed with the colors and the vibe. Oh my gosh. And I might be adding more stuff to this, but I am gonna be decorating for Halloween. So this will be spooked out by October, which I'm super excited for. But for now, I love this minimal look. It's just so relaxing and inviting and cozy. And I already sat in here and kind of like, you know, snuggled up with my, you know, blanket. So. Anyways, I hope this gives you guys all the inspiration you need for this season.
All right, you guys, and that is it for today's video. I really, really hope that you enjoyed. And anyways, I will see you in my next one.